Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Team Fight Manager, episode 34 of my Let's Play. Currently in Pro League Division 1, my first crack at that. Second place at 8 and 5, actually tied for first. Yeah, well, three-way tie for first. Yeah, there's this top five is pretty tight. It's pretty tight in general, I mean. Yeah, so let's, let's hope we stay hot. We just had a patch. Um, let's just briefly show these patch notes. Ghost buff, vampire buffed, attack. Those are pretty important buffs. What I'm wondering, though, is the AI going to start picking these? Because that, I don't want to have to deal with these if I can help it. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. Dark Mage, a little tankier. That's kind of whatever. Um, Ninja, Shadowmancer nerfs. Those definitely matter. I might not have to ban those anymore. Swordsman, Boomerang Hunter, they both call kind of had fallen out of favor before anyway. So those are kind of whatever. But yeah, the Ghost and Vampire buffs are gonna be pretty interesting and i do also want to touch on the shadowmancer nerf uh the half second to her cooldown that that hurts her i know it's only a half second but you know that's her res like that's a long time where <laughs> your people are dead right it matters all right um yeah let's just roll with this team or i want to put solo in here try to do a shrine maiden team because mother Teresa. but the problem with the shrine maiden team <laughs> is shrine maidens vulnerable to assassins and i am honestly not sure if the ai is going to pick vampire and ghosts i mean i could just ban them right if i if i don't want to deal with them that is an option okay so he doesn't want to deal with assassins either he banned vampire and ninja so i'm going to ban taoist I didn't, yeah, it's pronounced Taoist, right? Not Taoist or whatever. All right, so Shrine Maiden. And Ghost. I'm going with Ghost. I want to try it. I want to try the new and improved Ghost, especially since he picked Bard. All right, so I'm going to ban Ice Mage because I don't want Ice Mage back there helping to deal with the Ghost. Um. All right, so I don't have a tank. So I'm going to go with the Knight. I'd like Sniper for my last pick. I probably could have picked Sniper with this pick. Dual Blader? Really? Okay, Archer's a good pick because that's solid against the Ghost. Um, So, hmm. I have some options here. I could go... I could go Werewolf to help the Ghost out. That doesn't leave me with a lot of damage. I'm going to go Sniper. Can't believe Sniper was still there with the last pick, honestly. It's really strong. Um, piercing Spear, Ghost, sure. Gale, Sniper is usually pretty good. Mother Teresa increases recovery by 10%. And the Shrine Maiden is nice. Um, it's really going to greatly depend on the alt phase. Right? Um, the Bard alt in particular and all three of these are like heavy kill alts he's got better alts than i do well the ghost doesn't really have an alt knight's alt isn't very good um shrine maiden and sniper alts are both solid though oh my god the ghost died fast there that's less than ideal did get a stack though Ooh, they killed the ghost again really quickly okay no ghost died. <laughs> he's gotten two assists but he's dying really fast I mean, he doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have that much damage, but yeah, this isn't looking promising for me. Oh, can we kill that cat? Can we, I was gonna say, can we kill that low health archer? All right. Um. Yeah, my ghost is not getting enough stacks. I needed to be further ahead than that after the alt phase, because now he does his alts, which are really good alts. Although he kind of overlapped them a bit there. Oh, what happened to Ghost there? He was going for the back line, then it stopped. I feel like the Ghost hasn't killed the Bard nearly often enough, or hasn't gone for the Bard nearly often enough. Yeah, we actually made it pretty close. All right, so, yeah. I wanted to try Ghost. I tried it. didn't work. Got that out of my system. Um, Yeah, is what it is. I mean, it's still... It's still Ghost, right? It's, uh, you can't, Ghost is not strong enough 
to dive the back line by itself still. You had this game, eh. You lost. We lost straight up. There's no there's no sugarcoating it. That was just a loss. So if I want to make ghost work, I feel like I need to take another assassin with it. Probably werewolf. Um, but it's interesting that he took two tanks, because I'm gonna have to do Pyromancer because I mean Boomerang Hunter got nerfed again. So like if if I want to do AoE, Pyromancer might be the trick after the you know after the boomerang hunter nerfs um so it's interesting he he banned exorcist and stuff oh and werewolf okay so i'm gonna go with the bird i'm gonna take the bird i know i haven't had a lot of luck with it oh of course he went with the taoist of course he did um Uh, that's, mm, <laughs> that's less than ideal. All right, let's try the new and improved Dark Mage. Um, God, I hate going against Taoist. That's being a vampire. I'm not going to take it, so let's make sure he doesn't. Okay, Sniper is... I mean, it's fine, I guess, but honestly, it's less than ideal. Go Berserker, and Swordsman just got nerfed again. Go Executioner. So, Dual Blader. Why is Dual Blader all of a sudden meta? Right, once again, he went with two tanks. Um, I went with Executioner because I want to have two frontliners because the Taoist is going to remove one of my frontliners and I want the Bard and Dark Mage to be able to do their thing in relative peace. <laughs> um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. Fighter Dual Blader is a pretty good combo. Sniper's, sniper's really strong. So is Dark Mage, although Dark Mage put himself in a bad position there. Especially a bird assisted Dark Mage, but oh, my Dark Mage keeps dying. Oh, can we kill the sniper since it's almost dead? Please? No? No, we're not gonna. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, um. Can I have a good bird alt? Oh, the Taos is annoying. Pretty decent bird alt, and I still have a Berserker alt to come. Which is usually a pretty solid alt. All right, so there's all his alts down. Yeah, I got this. Oh, the Taoist on the Berserker during his alt. I mean, it doesn't completely nullifies it, but and it doesn't matter. I'm way ahead. Yeah, Dark Mage with the Bard is pretty strong. <laughs> this just in, my <laughs> my champion that did 2,700 damage is strong. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, it's good. And a big kill. I do, I haven't really showed it lately, but I have a sponsor quest for, I got to get a lot of kills. <laughs> so that's good. It also forces a game three is losing in two games is like worst case scenario. All right. Um, opponent sucks so bad. Score difference is not that great. I know the score difference was a lot there, but they beat us in game one, right? Like let's not, Let's not count any chickens, right? Before they fly the coop or whatever. You know what I mean? So, he's got first pick this time. I'm relatively confident he's going to take the bird with this first pick. So what do I do? Do I try werewolf ghost? I'm, I'm thinking about it. did go bird yeah and i'm gonna take them right now <laughs> all right and then we're gonna ban the ice mage oh i should have banned taoist should have banned the taoist you know what let's take the taoist why not 
Clown, not what I expected. All right, um, I want a tank, yeah. A tank that does a bit of damage. So this, this is a really weird team that I have. I will freely admit that. I have, like, no mastery whatsoever, but I guess neither does he, but he does have a stat advantage. Um, I think the Berserker benefits from Mother Teresa, Gale and the Ghost, Strong, Piercing Spear, and the Werewolf. Sure. <laughs> I sound very confident there, right? Sure. <laughs> oh, man, that the bird buffed clown is swinging. Oh, that no, that was not good. My ghost has not got any stacks yet. He still doesn't have any stacks. Oh, the bird was so almost dead there. This is going to be a bloodbath and not in my favor. Oh, the ghost just got a couple stacks. Oh, we can kill the bird quick again. Okay, okay. Okay. It's starting to come around. I mean, he still has his alts. Depends on the bird alt. It really depends how good of a bird alt he has. Honestly. Ghost is starting to swing. Okay, there's the archer alt was good. Okay, can we kill the bird out of his alt? Or... CC him out of his ult. Can we kill that archer, please? Oh my god, that archer's lived with one health for way too long. Oh, can we wipe their team? Oh, overtime. Get the kill, get the kill. Get the... Oh, not overtime. Oh, the comeback was real there. I still think I might be trying to force Ghost a little too much. It's, it's not bad. And I won with it there, but... Yeah, I think I need to kind of pump the brakes a little bit on Ghost, probably. All right, I won. It was not a 2-0, so my tiebreaker continues to be pretty mediocre, but so is everybody else's tiebreaker, to be fair. Now, it's a two-way tie for first, and yeah, he has me by tiebreaker, but it's only by one. So, yeah, I, I mean, finishing first would be ideal. That way, guaranteed, I get to go to Worlds. Um... But as long as I finish second. So outstanding rookie performance in a 2025 Pro League Division 1 14, 14th round match between Luchadors and Rapid Raccoon Solo, a recent addition to the team, has led Luchadors to victory. In the last match, Solo recorded a total of 11 kills, 11 deaths, and 24 assists using Berserker. Solo was expected to gradually increase his playing time. Outstanding performance has left a strong impression, and everyone is looking forward to his growth as a player. Indeed. All right, what do we got here? Anything good? Anything new? New and good, preferably? Nope, not new or good. <laughs> and that's okay. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, enjoying this series in general, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. Something new there, 2% attack speed, but that's, I'd rather 4% cooldown, I think. Um, One thing I want to look at, the individual records. Ooh, so Damo is well in the lead for assists, and Edible is two kills at a first for kills. So that's a little extra money if you if you win them at the end, but it's it's really not much. Um, so yeah, how do I see worlds? I forget exactly how. I think the top two teams go to worlds, like similar to how the top two teams get promoted in earlier, you know, divisions, I think. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Rude Rabbits, where are you at? All right, Ninja, Bird, Devil. All right, I'm just going to ban Ninja and Devil <laughs> and deal with the Bird as it comes. That's the problem, is, like, if I don't take, like, the, the backline dive of either Ghost or Vampire, then I probably have to try to deal with a Bird. They're the best thing dealing with the bird. I mean, I could try banning bird. And maybe they don't take bird, but I mean, God, I mean, the bird got buffed in like the first, it felt like four of the first six patches or whatever. And it just has been living at that point of strength. Like it's never been nerfed, which is crazy. Like how long has bird been meta now without without getting nerfed for some reason. Well, he's taking my Shrine Maiden away. Which does push me towards Ghost, to be fair. Because Ghost can't get healed from the Shrine Maiden. 
So if I can't pick Shrine Maiden, I feel like I'm more likely to take the Ghost. He did not take Bard. That is interesting. So I'm going to. Shadow Mancer. Okay, I'm not scared of Shadow Mancer anymore. Famous last words. Um, I'm going to ban Ice Mage. Wait, why did I ban Ice Mage? I did not want to ban Ice Mage. Why did I do that? Okay, well, it's in the past now. <laughs> I can't change it now. It's done. Um, all right, Swordsman, Knight, Shadowmancer, Gunner. Like, I'm tempted to take the Pyromancer for the AoE damage or the Boomerang Hunter. Um, they have basically the same attack stats or defensive stats, 80 HP, 3 defense, 80 HP, 5 defense, basically the same. Um, I could take Werewolf, maybe. Actually, you know what? Let's take Werewolf here. I know Werewolf and Bard can be dangerous together because the Werewolf can screw up the Bard's alt. Um, potentially. As long as you do separate alts, I feel like it'll be fine. So let's do separate early alts, get ahead, hopefully way ahead, and then we can hopefully survive the late game. Right? Like the Shadow Mancer late game shenanigans. He's going to have a better late game than I am, right? Let's just call a spade a spade. <laughs> it is what it is. And it's fine. Um, we just need to be aware. We need a good early game. All right. Bard alt is a go. Okay, so there's... So, yeah, so there's the werewolf pulls everybody in with his alt. The problem is sometimes it pulls them in and the bear dies while he's alting. Did not happen there. It worked out there. All right, there's my sniper alt. Okay. So there's my all my alts. So I do have a lead. He still got all his alts though, and he does have a couple good alts in the swordsman and gunner. Knight alts kind of whatever, and the shadow mancer doesn't have an alt. Shadow mancer starting to swing though. Okay. Ooh, swordsman and gunner use their alts at the same time and kind of like spoiled each other's alts. I need to get some kills here though. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Thank you, werewolf. This is gonna come down to the wire, folks. This is gonna be really close. Now we got it. Still a little, still fairly close, but I think I got it. Yep. All right. Perfect. So the plan worked, right? We got ahead early. We held him off. We held off the Shadow Mancer. And honestly, that five, or not five, that half second cooldown reduction that she got in the in the last patch, the nerf, that could have made the difference, right? It's that easy. But Werewolf was a good pick there. It did a lot of work. And I'm, I'm starting to like Berserker. Pretty solid. I like that Berserker alt. As long as you're not against heavy CC. I think you pretty much carried. Keep doing what you're doing, Edible. He did carry. He was the sniper, right? Yeah. Well, that's good, too, because it gives him kills. And he is my person that's fighting for the most kills award. And Domo Kuhn is fighting for most assists. And he's my Bard player. That's why. He's my Bard and Shrine Maiden player, right? So it makes sense that he's... Got a ton of assists. All right, well, I'm just going to first pick Bard again. Um, Try to make it happen. Never mind. I am not going to first pick Bard. Um, let's go Shrine Maiden. Sniper, okay. Full Corpse, okay. I'm going to go Dark Mage. I think I might try Vampire here. I'm going to ban the Ice Mage. Full Corpse, losing a Sniper. Let's try to make Plague Doctor Vampire work. <laughs> risky. It's risky. Clown. Oh, I think that might be good, because I don't think the Clown will go for the Vampire. That's my hope, anyway. <laughs> See what happens here. Early separate alts, yep. Um, separate alts, yeah. Sim no, let's do simultaneous alts. Get ahead early again. Of course, he doesn't have the Shadow Mancer this time, so the late game's gonna be a little different. Ooh, the vampire! Vampire just did the vampire just win a one v one with the sniper? He got six stacks at least. It's huge. I guess the sniper didn't have her ability. She does now. 
All right, go, go, vampire, go. Get vampire stacked. I think I'm good. He does have some solid alts coming, although Clown doesn't have an alt. Um, three of them? Oh, no, they're all bleeding. Yeah, no, we got this. <laughs> they're all bleeding already from the vampire. They've felt the bite of the vampire. Okay, so there's the coal corpse. It's going to be hard to kill. Losing this sniper. So there's all his alts. And they, they did work. Don't get me wrong. And we still need to kill the coal corpse two more times. And the vampire has spent a lot of this match in his coffin. We're not going to kill the coal corpse. But they're all going to die from bleeds. So that's a big 2-0. Vampire did vampire things. And Dark Mage did good too, right? I mean... Basically, these two are just here to support these two, right? I just realized I did not put Shrine Maiden on the Mother Teresa. But he does have... I left him there because he has 14 Plague Doctor. But really? Should I have flipped them? I don't know. You lose a lot of mastery if I flip them. Actually, I think it made... I guess you could argue either way. I mean, it worked, I guess, so it's hard to argue against. Not only a win, but a 2-0 win. Now we're in first. All by myself in first place. Nice. But, I mean, there's three teams. <laughs> one game behind me, so... I cannot take my foot off the gas here. I need to keep winning. Try to win out. Sticky seaweeds. The old stinky seaweeds. Alright, so they have really good stats. Ninja. Okay, if... It'd be funny. If he takes this exact composition, that's a really annoying composition. Because, like, if he takes his composition, which I'm probably going to ban Ninja so we can, but let's pretend he does. If they alt at the same time, that is such a scary alt. Because the Necro alts, so now they have a fifth member. The Ninja alt is a clone, so he has six members, right? So it's a six on four. Plus, you need to kill the Cold Corpse three times. So, yeah, anyway, I hope he doesn't pick that exact composition. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's just it's just a nasty, nasty alt phase that can turn into, like, even past the alt phase. Because when he comes out of the alt phase, he's probably going to have, like, three or four necro ghouls, right? If not more. <laughs> and the coal corpse is still need going to need to be killed at least twice. Oh, and they're one of the teams that are in second. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's win this. Oh, quick cast this is such a nice one. I don't have anybody with quick cast, and I wish I did. Reduces cooldown by ten percent. I do have some good traits. Don't get me wrong. Piercing spear is great. Gale's great. Mother Trees is great. Life of the party is amazing. I got a second piercing spear over here. Um, great mage is kind of like a poor man's quick cast or homeless man's quick cast. I guess even more accurate. I'm just going to ban Devil and Ninja. And I'm probably going to first pick Bird. No Archer. Okay. If I did want to try some Ghost Shenanigans, it'd be a little easier with no Archer. But I'm not. I'm just going to go Bird. Now, I mean, just because I have Bird doesn't mean I can't go Ghost. But it doesn't... Okay, he went Ghost. He went Ghost. All right, well, I'm going to pick Ice Mage if he doesn't ban it. <laughs> I'm going to ban Werewolf. I don't want him having that. Okay, so I'm going to go Knight and Ice Mage, which hopefully is enough CC to deal with the Ghost. Dark Mage is a good pick by him. You know, as long as the Bard and Sniper can do their thing, I should be fine. But we'll see. <laughs> So it's a little scary, I'm going to be honest. Um, let's go separate alts. Yeah, you know what? Actually, let's do simultaneous alts. That way, the Knight and Ice Mage alts should kind of guarantee I get a full Bard alt, right? Because they're both kind of defensive alts. So in theory, it should kind of guarantee a good um, Bard alt. Actually, I should have done it early, too, now that I think about it. Because that would help. You know, keep the ghost down, which the ghost has done absolutely nothing so far, which is perfect. But now he's on my bird. And ooh, did he get the he did get an assist on that one? Can we kill that dark mage, please? Um, kill the dark mage, please. No, yeah. Yeah, finally, okay. 
Good. This is a decent Bard alt. I wouldn't give it any more than decent, though. He still has alts. This is a little scary. This is touch and go. There's the there's his alts. Yeah, no, he's got the lead. Yo, oh, yeah, this is gonna be a win for him. No question about it. Why? What what went wrong? I mean, because the ghost didn't even do much. Right? It's, it's you can't even blame the ghost going crazy. Ghost did 400 damage. <laughs> well, 500, but. What went wrong there? Like, although the ghost did tank up a ton of damage. I don't know. We just didn't win. <laughs> just straight up. I just didn't win, obviously, but. Like on paper, like if I look at this this matchup on paper, I would go, okay, I should win this unless the ghost absolutely pops off, which didn't happen, or I have an exceptionally bad Bard alt. And I didn't have a great Bard alt, but it wasn't exceptionally bad. But I still lost. I mean, I know he has stat advantage, but. Yeah, I don't know. And not only that, but it wasn't even close, right? Nine kills. Like, if, if it was close, I'd say, okay, well, sometimes you just lose a close game every now and then, right? That wasn't even close. I don't know. I don't know what... Um, Owen was just darn good. I, yeah. I'm a little kerfluffled right now. And, I mean, I have really good conditions he's just mediocre oh he has a love for blue and a love for red well that's awesome congratulations good for you i guess maybe i just didn't have enough damage right because the bard obviously does no damage the knight doesn't do much damage and the ice mage isn't a super heavy damage dealer I guess it, yeah it just wasn't enough damage maybe the ice mage wasn't the pick and well, I can't take it this time. All right, so what's he going to do? He picked Bard. Uh, do I pick Ghost? It does have 160 HP. Was Ghost always that tanky? I feel like it wasn't. I'm going to try it, though. Spider, no surprise there. Um, I'm going to ban... Grind Maiden? No. Am I going to pick Werewolf, I guess, is the question. No, I'm going to ban Taoist. He bans Shrine Maiden. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go Berserker here. Ooh, wait, he went with two tanky tanks. Um, I'm going to go Pyro. But is the ghost going to... Who's the ghost even going to go for? Yeah, let's try Pyro. Ooh, you know what? I could have done Vampire. Probably would have worked. Probably. <laughs> Being the key term there, with no guarantee of actual success. Um, yeah, let's, I got no mastery except for the 10 for any marksman. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Um, separate alts. When does he alt? Uh, he alted either late or semi-late. All right, let's go early alts. Hopefully we can get the ghost some kills early through those alts. Pyromancer in particular is like a damage over time thing. All right, Ghost did nothing on that initial thing except absorb a lot of damage. Okay, you got a kill there. Assist there. Okay, so Ghost is starting to do something. Yeah, he's tanky. He, it's ugh, This might be tough. I mean, obviously I got a lead, but that's because I used all my alts. Oh, Sniper hasn't ulted yet. Okay, there's a Sniper alt. Ghost is not getting enough stacks. It's only got three stacks right now. When he's going for the, when he was going for the bird, he switched to the cold corpse. Okay, and there's Boomerang Hunter, pretty decent alt. Now the cold corpse is alted. Okay, 
Oh, and apparently the fighter still had an alt. And the bird still had an alt. Yeah, this is going to be a loss. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's going to be close. Well, do I need to kill the coal corpse more than once? Is the question that I'm not sure about. I do. That's probably going to be why I lose. I'd have one. Yep. I would have had one more kill if the coal corpse hadn't have been in alt form. Oh, that's that hurts. Yeah, I think I'm like I think I'm forcing ghosts too much, but the loss where I lost against it kind of got in my head a bit. I mean, this could have went either way, but it didn't. It went his way, <laughs> right? So, yeah, first time Pyro in a while. She did what she was supposed to do. I mean, everybody did what they were supposed to, except Ghost kind of didn't do quite enough. I don't know. My Ghost, it feels like, for me, when I take Ghost, he doesn't go for, like, the Bard. For the Boomerang Hunter. Like, he doesn't go for who I want him to go for nearly often enough. So now I'm probably down into third. Yep, all the way down to third because it was a 2-0 loss. Three-way tie for first with two matches left. Losing to the Sticky Seaweeds in a 2-0 in particular. Like, if it was 2-1, their tiebreaker would be 7 and mine would be 6. Right? Like, uh, that would make it so much closer. And just right quick here. Okay, let's look at the progress support. People got better, except my stupid veterans got worse. Um, had a sweeping victory. I went 4-1 in one of my last five until that loss. Um, sponsor, yeah. So how am I doing here? Oh, I need nine more kills in two matches. So we got that. We got that on lock. That is not an issue. We don't have to worry about it. Because I was kind of getting concerned a little bit. Got a surgical gown, which we already had. And I mean, I'm not really too worried about equipment. I mean, I have these pieces. I might as well do stuff. But I'm mostly okay with my equipment. Obviously, I'd like a better controller. Ooh, but if I win... If I win the Pro League Division 1, I get a better controller. Or do you need him in Worlds to get the better controller? I forget. At any rate, two matches left. Can I finish first? Let me know in the comments what you think, because that is all for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my patrons. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description down below. Also a link to my Discord. Um, we talk about games there. We sometimes play multiplayer games such as this. That's where we'll be organized if it happens. Check it out. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.